Good morning, class. Today, we're going to be taking a major grade test. This is not going to be test two, though. It will be test three. You'll be taking a major grade test three. Math models crew. The problem below makes up our, sec our third... Third... Major grade test of the year. Please gather your notes and review your previous assignments. This is an open notes test. Take your time. Check your work carefully before you click submit. Remember, guys, you can use uh, your notes and uh, this video. You can stop it and start it and rewind it and fast forward it um, to go at your own speed. Um, the test is multiple choice. Identify the choice that best completes the statement or answers the question. Good luck, respectfully, Mr. A and Mr. M. Okay, in the first deal, you're going to need to put your email address. In the second frame, you're going to need to put your first name. In the third frame, you're going to need to put last name. And in the fourth frame, you're going to need to put your class period. You're going to mark only one oval. All right. For problems 1 through 15, solve each equation for the indicated variable. For problems 1 through 15, solve each equation for the indicated variable. Number 1. x minus 8 equals negative 5. x minus 8 equals negative 5. What I would do is come over here and rewrite this as x minus 8 equals negative 5. What I would do is draw my little line. And remember that the opposite operations, I'm going to put opposite operations. And we also call these the inverse operations which means the opposite operations. For number, if you have an adding, you're going to do the opposite of adding, and you're going to subtract. If you are multiplying, you're going to do the opposite of dividing. Remember, and then if you're Subtracting, you're going to do the opposite, is add. So for an example, I'm going to help you out with this one. We have x minus 8 equals negative 5. I want x, so I'm going to just put my finger over x, and I have a minus 8 right here. I need to do the opposite operation. So the opposite of subtract is plus. So I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to put plus 8. And whatever I do on this side, I'm going to do it right here. Plus 8. And the reason I'm putting this one underneath this is because these are both numbers. They do not have a letter beside them. So I can do that. 
I'm going to draw my line. And what happens here with the negative 8 plus 8? When they are opposite operations, they cancel each other out. So I'm going to go, this is minus 8 plus 8. So I'm going to bring down my x. Bring down my equal sign. And I'm going to let you do that. Negative 5 plus 8. Your answer choices are, mark only one oval. Mark only one oval. X equals 40. X equals 3. X equals negative 13. Or X equals negative 5. I'll give you a moment and let you work this out. Number six, number six, and this is question number two, 10 Z equals 40. This is 10 times Z equals 40. So again, I would come over here, put 10 Z equals 40. Put my little line, that way whatever I do on this side, I do on this side. Your answer choices are mark only one oval. So you've only got one answer. So Z equals 50, Z equals 4, Z equals 30, or Z equals 400. So remember, this is 10 Z equals 40, and this means 10 times Z equals 40. So you got to do the reverse, do the inverse operation, or the opposite. Number three. We have W divided by six equals ten. W divided by six equals ten. Again, I would come over here and write W over 6 equals 10. And you need to do the reverse operation. This is W divided by 6 equals 10, or the opposite operation. W divided by 6 equals 10. You're going to mark only one oval. Your answer choices are W equals 60, W equals 16, W equals 1.7, or W equals 4. I'll read the problem one more time. W divided by 6 equals 10. Next question, number four, for problem number eight. It says, mark only one oval. So our problem is 18 equals 3 times C. 18 equals 3 times C. 
So again, I would come over here, write 18 equals 3C. And the opposite operations of multiplication is what? You want to get C by itself. So you got to do the inverse operation of what is stated here. This is 3 times C. So your answer choices are mark only one oval. C equals 54. C equals 15. C equals 6 or C equals 21. I'll read the problem one more time. 18 equals 3 times C. Number nine, number five problem. We have negative 22 equals A divided by seven. Negative 22 equals A divided by seven. I would come back over here, write negative 22 equals a divided by 7. Another helpful choice is that you can rewrite this as or, and this means the same thing. I can take this a divided by 7. If you like the variable on the left-hand side, a divided by 7 equals negative 22. You can do, you can solve it this way or this way. Remember, it's the same problem. It's still a divided by 7 equals negative 22, and you want to get a by itself, so you need to do the re inverse operation of dividing. Your answer choices are mark only one oval. So A equals negative 154. A equals 154. A equals negative 29. Or A equals negative 15. If you had trouble with this one, you could write you could have written this one the same way. You could have gone 3c equals 18 and done that. These are the same problems. You can solve them just the same way. It's 3 times c equals 18. Number 6 says negative 42 equals negative 18 minus 6c. Negative 42 equals negative 18 minus, instead of 6c, I'm going to say 6 times c. Again, I would rewrite, I'd write this as negative 42 equals negative 18 minus 6c. Or you can rewrite this and still be the same problem. You could write it as negative 18 minus 
6c equals negative 42. You can solve it the same way. I just like the variable, so I rewrite it. And remember, you're going to take and draw your line. So whatever you do on this side, you need to do on this side. Or whatever you do on this side, you need to do on this side. And you always do the opposite to get C by itself. Your answer choices are mark only one oval. C equals negative 24. C equals 144. C equals 4. Or C equals 10. You might want to take a moment now and pause this and work these problems out. But your answer choices are C equals negative 24, C equals 144, C equals 4, or C equals 10. Number 11, which is number problem number 7. We have x divided by 11 minus 3 equals negative 16. x divided by 11 minus 3 equals negative 16. Remember, I would just come over here and rewrite it. x over 11 minus 3 equals negative 16. And then I would draw my lines. And this one has a couple of steps. You've got to, to get x by itself, remember you need to do what? You need to cover it, the x up and try and get this over here first. So you're going to do the opposite of this. If this is negative 3, you're going to put something here and here. And then you've got x divided by 11, and then you're going to do the opposite of that one. So it's more of like a two-step thing. Your answer choices are x equals negative 3, x equals negative 143, x equals negative 209, and x equals negative 1.5. All right. Remember that you can pause this at any time and work the problems. Next problem number 8 for number 12 is 10G plus 5 equals 11G. 10G plus 5 equals 11G. So I would rewrite this. Ten times G plus five equals eleven times G. You'll notice now we have a G on this side and a G on this side. So we need to figure out how to get all of the G's on one side. So 
you need to figure out how to get this over here and then complete the operation to solve this. Your answer choices are mark only one oval. So you have G equals negative 16, G equals 5, G equals negative 4, and G equals 4. Your answer choices are G equals negative 16, G equals 5, G equals negative 4, and G equals 4. You need to get your G's on the same side. So this is 10 times G plus 5 equals 11 times G. Number nine, we're getting a little more complicated here. So now you have a negative seven times M plus 20 equals negative 17 times M minus 10. So I would rewrite it, negative seven M plus 20 equals negative 17m minus 10. And then I would draw my line knowing that whatever I do on this side, I've got to do on this side to keep the equation balanced. I want to combine, I want to get my m's on one side and I want to get my numbers on the other. That's my strategy. My strategy is to be able to get all of the letters, the M's, on one side and get the numbers on the other side and then finish the operation to solve for M. So mark only one oval. M equals negative 3. M equals 3. M equals 1. And equals 4. Number 10. Again, we have 6 plus 17 times z equals 13 times z plus 18. We have 6 plus 17 times z equals 13 times z plus 18. I would take, come over here, 6 plus 17z equals 13z plus 18. I would draw my center line, that way I know whatever I do on this side, I need to do on this side. So I'm going to try and give you a little helpful hint on this one. 
And then you can go back and check the other ones. See how you want to do it. Or the ones next to it. To get 13Z on this side, this is a positive 13Z. I want to get my Z's on one side and my numbers on the other. So this is 13Z. I want to get it over here. So what's the opposite of plus 13? It is minus 13. And if I subtract 13 here, I need to subtract 13 on this side of Z. So I'm going to put it right under Z. And I'm going to draw my line. Now, 13 minus 13 is 0. So I'm going to cancel those out. And then I have a 6. I bring it straight down. And what's 17 minus 13? It is a positive 14. Z, positive 4Z. So I'm going to put 4Z here. Equals. And since these canceled out, I bring down my 18. Now, what do I do to get rid of this? I need to get rid of this. To get it over here. I need to get the numbers that have no variables by them. I need to get them over here because this has no letter or no variable. It's a constant, and this is a constant. So what I need to do is since this is a plus 6, I need to subtract 6 from both sides. If I did it on this side, I'm going to subtract it on this side. Now I have 6 minus 6. They go to 0. 6 minus 6 is 0. So these cancel out. I bring down my 4z. Equals. And what is 18 minus 6? 18 minus 6 is... Those of you that said 12, you're correct. It's 12. Now what do I do? This is 4 times z equals 12. What do I do to get z by itself? I need to do the opposite operation. This is 4 times z. What's the opposite of multiplication? Equals 12. I'm going to leave it there and let you finish it out. Your answer choices are mark only one oval. Z equals negative 3. Z equals negative 2. Z equals 3. Z equals 6. Remember, also, you've got notes, and you can use your notes during this test to help you solve for these equations, or solve these equations. Number 15. Number 15, it says, I mean, number 15 and problem number 11. It's 15 times z minus 7 equals 14 times z plus 12. So again, like we did up here, I would rewrite it out. Go 15 z minus 7 equals 14 z plus 12. And like we did up here, I'm going to take and draw a line and 
and you need to solve this the same way we did up here. This one, you still needed to finish the last operation to be able to get the answer to get Z by itself. So it's 15 times Z minus 7 equals 14 times Z plus 12. And you're going to work it this one just like we did this one. Your answer choices are Z equals 19, Z equals negative 19, Z equals negative 18, and Z equals 18. You might want to take a minute now and pause this video. That way you can work this problem out. Remember, you need to work this on your own paper. Number 16, problem 12. This one is a lot different because we have a negative 2 with the parentheses and a binomial inside of it. So what I would do is I would come over here and rewrite this problem. 6 equals negative 2. Parenthesis 10 n plus 7 Now what makes this one different from this one? It is this portion right here and For those of you that remember if you look in your notes, it means to distribute. We multiply the outside, outside number to everything inside the parentheses. And remember, we are distributing. So after you distribute, then you take and basically do the same thing what we did up here. Your answer choices are 6 equals negative 2 times 10n plus 7. That's your equation, and your answer choices are mark only one oval, and n equals 1, n equals 0 0.4, n equals negative 1, n equals 5. Number 17, problem 13. Wow, now we've got a couple of distributions. So number 13, we have 6. We have x plus 8 equals 5 times x minus 4. And remember, this is the outside number beside a parenthesis, and we take this number and multiply it to everything inside the parenthesis. So this is 6 times x and 6 times 8. And then we go 5 times x. 
and then 5 times x minus 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you the distribution portion right quick. We have 6 times x, which is 6x. Then we have 6 times 8, which is 48. Now we need to distribute here 5 times x. 5x, and then 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. Now this problem is like the problems that we did in the past. You're going to get all your x's on one side, get your numbers on the other, and then solve for x. So your answer choices are x equals 28, x equals negative 12, x equals negative 69, and x equals negative 68. I'm going to go ahead and show you again over here what we do. Since this is 5x, we want to get it over here. I like all my variables with the x's on the same side. So if this is a positive 5x, I'm going to do what? I'm going to subtract 5x. And if I subtract 5x from here, I'm going to subtract 5x from this side. Now I have 6 minus 5, which is just 1x. And then I'm going to put plus 48 equals, these canceled out, 5 minus 5 cancels out, and then I have minus 20. Now you can solve this the way we've been doing it in the past. You need to get this over here, and that will get you to 1x. x equals something. So your answer choices are x equals 28, x equals negative 12, x equals negative 69, and x equals negative 68. All right. Number 18, problem 14. This one, you need to do like you did up here. You need to distribute. So you're going to go 2 times n plus 8, I mean plus 4. equals 8 minus 6 times n minus 4. So on this one, you need to do the distribution because you have a number outside of parentheses, so it's going to go 2 times n and 2 times 4. Now, on this side, some students will take and see this negative 6n, and they'll start multiplying the 8 times n. We don't need to multiply the 8 times n. What we're going to do is we're going to bring the 8 down, 
And then you take and you multiply a negative 6 times n and a negative 6 times negative 4. And you'll bring your answers down here and you'll bring these down here. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Negative 6n and neg times negative 4 is plus 24. And what you need to do is you need to distribute this and bring it down and then start solving. But you'll notice right here you have an 8 without any variable. So you need to combine these two, plus 8 and plus 24, and that'll give you down here. You need to combine them before you start bringing your ends over. This one's a tricky one, but I've helped you out to get you over the humps. I'll go ahead and do this one. This is 2 end. And then 2 times 4 is what? It's 8. And that equals each other. And you'll, after you've combined the 8 and the 24, then you'll work it just like what we did up here. Your answer choices are n equals 0, n equals 16, n equals 3, and n equals negative 3. Number 19, problem 15. It says... Solve the equation just below. Confirm your solution by graphing it on a number line. So A plus 42 equals negative 34. So your answer choices are A equals negative 0.81, which is not exactly on negative 1. It's just right before it. B equals A equals 8. So they have a dot right at 8. C, A equals negative 76. So they have a dot right at negative 76. And then A equals negative 1428. And they have a dot at negative 1428. And what they're asking for you to do is mark only one oval, A, B, C, or D. All right. For 16 through 19, Solve the equation or formula for the variable specified. These problems do not have a numerical answer. Okay, so these right here, we're looking for a specific to solve for. We're looking for a specific letter. So this one for problem 16 says solve this equation for the variable D. We're looking for D. So in this equation, we're looking for D by itself. So what you have here is D times F plus 10 times H equals 3. What I would do is I would go ahead and rewrite it. D times F plus T times H equals 3.
your answer choices for that after you're looking for D I'd underline D and then I would draw my little line and I want D by itself so I need to get rid of this plus 10 H bring it over and remember you cannot combine this H with this 3 okay So mark only one oval. Your answer choices are for option one, it is three minus 10 H divided by F, which is option one. Option two is three minus 10 H. Option three uh, is 3 plus 10 H divided by F and your option 4 is D equals F times 3 minus 10 H. So these are your options. This is option 1, option 2, option 3, and option 4. Mark only one oval, please. Next question, number 21. Says G equals X minus C. Solve for this equation for the variable X. So I'm going to rewrite this as G equals X minus C and we're solving for X so I'd underline that and get rid of everything that's beside it and you could rewrite this as this we have X minus C and we're just taking this equals and putting it over here G. And I want to keep X by itself. Your answer choices are X equals G plus C, X equals G minus C, X equals G divided by C or X equals G times C. Your answer choices are X equals G plus C, X equals G minus C, X equals G divided by C, or X equals G times C. Number 22, problem 18. X equals A divided by B. Solve this equation for the variable B, variable B. So you could rewrite this as X equals A divided by B. And for B. Or you can rewrite this as A over B. Equals X. These are the same problems. So either way is fine. So your answer choices, it says mark only one oval. B equals A divided by X. B equals A times X. B equals X plus A. Or B equals X minus A.
Remember, you're doing the opposite. So A divided by B. We want to get B by itself. So what's the opposite of division? Problem 23. Number 19 on as far as problems. It says, the formula for the perimeter P of a rectangle is P equals 2 times the length plus 2 times the width, where L is the length and W is the width. Solve the formula for the variable W. Again, you can write this as P equals 2L plus 2W. Solve it. Or you could rewrite it as the same thing, 2L plus 2W equals P. And I'm wanting to keep the variable W, so I would underline W because that's what I want. And on this one, remember, if I cover up the 2W, I want to get rid of the 2L. So I need to do the reverse operation of a positive 2L. All right. Your answer choices are mark only one oval. Your answer choices are W equals P minus 2L for option one. W equals P minus L divided by two for option two. P minus 2L divided by two for option three. And option four is W equals P minus L for option four. Just a helpful hint. We know that one of the answers, because we're looking for W and the last step is always this is 2 times W. So the last step, we're going to have to divide by 2. So one of these answers right here is a divided by 2. So we know we can get rid of option 1. And we know that we can get rid of option 4 because one of them has to be divided by 2. According to this, because 2 times W and our last step is always to take and get rid of whatever's in front of it. So we need to divide by two. So our answer choices are narrowed down to only option two and option three because these do not have divided by two. Number 24. Problem 20, I'm going to pan out a little bit. All right, it says select the best answer from the list below this image. So it says describe the missing step to solve this problem in sentence form. So we have 6n minus 2 times n 
and negative 2 times negative 4 equals n plus 6. I would check to see if they did this distribution right. Does this come out what it should be from here? And then they started combining their ends. Did they do the right operation here? And remember that negative n is the same thing as negative 1n. So if they drew a line right here, does this come out right from here? And then they combined the ends. Did they get the right answer here? And then they subtracted 8. So what is this equal right here? So we know that they subtracted 8, and we got to determine what that is, equals, and then we bring down, and then we went ahead, and we have to get in by itself. So what is this? So the answer choices are, the missing step is 3n equals negative 14. If you divide each side by 3, then n equals negative 2 thirds. So if we brought the 3 n down, would this equal negative 14? And then if you divide by the 3, would it equal n negative 2 thirds? What about this one? The missing step is 3n equals negative 2. Let's check. So if we bring the 3n down, and then that, if you divide each side by 3, it equals negative 2 thirds. The next one option is the missing step is 3n minus 8 equals negative 2. Well, I don't know about that because they've canceled this out. So if you divide each side by 3 minus 8, then the answer is n equals negative 2 thirds. Let's look at the next answer choice. It's not written down here. And then the last one was, Mr. Mitchell, my head is going to explode. Please make this the last question. Okay. Well, let's go to the last question. Bonus. It says, identify the number pattern and choose the correct sequence of the following numbers. We have negative 1, negative 3, negative 6, negative 10, and negative 15. And we are wanting to identify the pattern and choose the correct sequence of the following numbers. So he's apparently wanting some other numbers here. What I always do is I write negative 1, negative 3, negative 6, negative 10, and negative 15. And then you find the difference between these two. So what did we do to get from negative 15 to negative 10? 
What did we do to get from negative 15 to negative 10? It looks like I added 5. And then what did I do from negative 10 to negative 6? And you need to put that number down. And then what did I do to get from negative 6 to negative 3? And then what did I do to get from negative 3 to negative 1? And I'd put that number there. And that should give you some kind of thing. And then what you need to do is you want this number. So you need to find what this is and find out that. Then you can put that. And then that should give you your numbers. So... After you discover what this number is, because you find out what you did to get from negative 10 to negative 6, then you determine what you went from negative 6 to negative 3, and then from negative 3 to negative 1. And do this is to draw you a number line. And let's say this here was... negative 15 so this is negative 14 negative 13 negative 12 negative 11 negative 10 so that's 1 2 3 4 5 so this is negative 10 And then I do from negative 10 to negative 6. So this is negative 9, negative 8, negative 7, negative 6. And then I went from negative 6 to negative 3. Negative 5, negative 4, negative 3. Then I went from negative 3 to negative 1, negative 2, negative 1. So I can start counting these this way. So from negative 15, I went to negative 10. So I went negative, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So that's where I got 5. Then you'd count these, and that would give you those. Anyways, that's about how I would do it. Um, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Remember that you can rewind at any time. Fast forward. Uh, this video was meant to help you. And uh, if you have any questions, please raise your hand during the test. And for those of you that are at home, uh, please send us an email. I hope you have a great day and good luck on this test. Thank you.